Hello, people. I'm uh, doing a demo. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of things I could do a demo on. Something simple. Let's keep it simple, stupid. K-I-S-S. -S. Um, first. Yeah, you can see my table gets a little cluttered. Well, it's got a nice little rustic look to it. Um, this is uh, some green exotic that I just did a demo on in YouTube and uh, decided to uh, check out um, doing another one. And first off, I want to say Glass has been a great inspiration to me. Uh, glass has been a way for me to, I wouldn't say run away from my problems, but to create in a way that I couldn't do before. And just to manipulate a material that most people think, oh, can't even touch it. Anyway, to go on. I have, uh, let's do a quick demo. I think a turtle shall do. Simple, effective. Let there be fire. I have on my table some 8 mil rod. And that's going to be the basis of um, my turtle today. Um, for demo purposes, I'm going to put some color to this too. I've got green exotic. And I have some blue exotic that I'm going to use. The blue exotic is going to be the under, so like the color of the shell. And the green exotic will be the fins and the fit and the head to this thing. Okay. First of all, this is one way of doing it. And there's, you can manipulate and develop your own ideas on my work. I'll let you. Within reason, as long as you're not, you know, making a million dollars and making me poor at the same time. Um, nah. First, I make a ball. And glass blowing 101. Gravity works. You keep turning this piece of glass and it'll round into itself. If you stop turning, it sort of slumps in one direction or another. Now, first and foremost, this would be, I guess you would say, one of the first shapes you'll learn how to do is a nice round ball. Next, this is going to be a cold weld. Nice. The, the ball that I just made into a round ball is getting cooler as I speak. And the, what, the ball that's in the flame here is going to be the cold weld. And I heat it up very nicely and touch it to the piece that I want to um, have it hold on to until I tap it off at that spot. Now, I go down about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch from the round ball, depending upon the size of the ball that I made. Now I'm going to heat and pull that off. One of the quick demo is uh, this is what I call the DQ swirl. And instead of when you pull things out and you get these nice long thin strands, instead of that, you heat and pull them, to do that swirl part to it, and you don't have a lot of little stabby thingies all over your bench. Yay! Anyway, that's a tangent and a half. Now I make another round ball. Only this one I'm going to flatten. And I just got this Marver, this L Marver on top of my torch, and I'm not used to it, but I'm going to use it anyway. You heat, press, and flatten, and push it down to where you get a nice rim, sort of like a little boulder hat, you know. And that will be the shell to the turtle. Now, it's getting a little, I wouldn't say a little cattywampus, but I want to straighten out that so it goes a little bit straighter and rounder. Now, 
I'm going to take green exotic, the color that I have at the moment available. No, I said blue exotic, excuse me. Next. This is in case color. And what I do is I sort of start in the center and work my way around, swirling the color as I go and just do to the bottom of the two or bottom of the bottom of the shell. There you go. I'll learn how to edit a little better and add pictures. But these are my first YouTubes, tubers, guys. So be gentle with me. And if you have any suggestions, I will gladly listen to them. I run a Linux-based uh, operating system. So if you got a better video um, recorder for me to use, suggestions will be taken. I this is the first fin. Now that what I do to make the fin that shape, a lot of people will touch it too and melt a blob and pinch it and pull it out into the shape that they want it. But this is what I call the fold and pull method. I get the nice orange to orange glow. I seal it in together and I repeat seal it, not just stick two pieces of glass together. This is becoming one piece of glass as I work. And I pull it out, fold it over, pull it out, fold it over, and pull it out again until I get the shape that I want. That same shape you can use for, oh, fins to fish, fins to, uh, or, or a horse tail, or just about anything you, you really want to try to do, use it for. Now, again, pull out, fold over, pull out, fold over. And, of course, you need four fins to make a turtle. Right? Right. There's a different shape to this one because it's the back fin. And it, and it happens after time and effort. Next. Same idea, different side, reverse mirror image. Fold, pull, fold, pull. And when I figure I got the shape right, pull it out. Now you can go back over each one of these welds and make sure they're sealed in properly. Again, your ultimate goal is to have one piece of glass, not several pieces of glass stuck together. Now, this is the front, so I'm going to put a neck. The way I do that is I touch it to, seal it in, heat it up, I sort of pull it up, and then I do an S-curve. I heat it again a little higher and pull it out. And then I pull and do the DQ swirl again. And you got one head. Next, you do the tail. And there you go. Now, this is where the cold well comes in that you have done. And the cold well is the one on top. You heat it up and tap it right off. And if you do it right, It'll pull right off at that spot, or, or, or snap right off at that where the cold weld was. Now, the last thing I do to this, well, actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to put some eyes on it. Eyes are the windows to the soul. They really do pizzazz a piece up. People look for looking into people's eyes, and they look into people into what the eyes of every animal you make. I also will put a loop on this and make it into a pendant. And I'll do that right now, too. Okay. Touch in, pull out. You're just making a little ball for eyes. 
And the fun part is making sure that they're symmetrical, that they're across from each other, not one forward, one back. It's kind of hard, but it comes after time and effort and playing with glass. Trial and error and error and more error and cuts and burns and more error and error. Anyway, little loop. under his chin, and it now becomes a pendant. Seal that in real well. I also use graphite for reamers so that you don't collapse that loop too much, but you've got a nice little loop going on. Now, the last thing I do, above and beyond everything else, is I'll warm up the whole body. Okay. And I'm going to give it a slight stretch. Instead of a nut, this is sort of like a round sea turtle, which is okay. But now what I'm going to do is make it more of an oval shape sea turtle. You heat up just the main shape of the body. Okay. And heat. Oops, getting a little warm on the tail. Getting that main shape heat on the body and lightly tug. There you go. One sea turtle. When it cools down, I'll even put pictures of this up on Torch Talk Hangouts. Not to hang, Torch Talk Hangouts, but Torch Talk um, itself. Also, you can get me through Facebook, Lucian Libby, and Instagram at Lucian Libby also. Not also, but Lucian Libby. You'll, if you're interested, if you have any comments, questions, and if you have other videos that you would like to see me demo or have a request, we'll give it a try. And this is, uh, these are my first attempts at doing YouTube. Uh, be gentle with me. <laughs> and have a good day. <laughs> now I got to get back. <laughs> this is going to be, I got to edit this, I guess. Um, while I was doing this, my computer went into safe mode. I don't know if I'm actually still recording or not. And I have to... Yep, I'm still recording. There we go. <laughs>